Hey everybody, it's Sunday. You know what that means. It means there's a bun day. Every Sunday is a bun day. Say hello to the people, Bambi. She's saying hello? Yeah, she's saying hello. She's having a little snack. Look at her. I had no idea her food dish was empty. And she kept like coming up to me. And she's like, hey, you got any food? Got any food? Because she always asks for bananas. She keeps shaking me down for bananas anytime I have them. And uh, I, I never, like, I, I, I'm usually like, ah, somebody will give her bananas and carrots because she's just a bully. She just keeps asking and she keeps kind of like, eh, you got some? She keeps, like, going up on her hind legs asking for something like a beggar. And somebody always caves, you know, whether it's me or anybody else that lives here, you know, because she's so dang cute. Look at her. She's an aggressive bun. I think it's because she wasn't spayed. Could be that. She's an aggressive bun. But we love her. Even though you chew up all of my wires, my Nintendo DS charger being one of them. You know, speaking of Nintendo... My uh, Pokemon's game, my uh, Sword. I'm doing, still doing the playthrough of, of Sword. I've unsubscribed from like 90% of all the PokeTubers that I've subscribed to to not see any spoilers. If I see a spoiler, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see it. I'm gonna watch a bunch of Zelda videos, like I don't know, by like Dr. Wily or somebody. You know, somebody that doesn't do anything pertaining to uh, um, to Pokemon whatsoever. At least I, I can safely say that doesn't do Pokemon. I'm still subscribed to other gaming channels. But, you know, I just want to take it slow. Not take it day by day. Take, maybe sometimes take it week by week, baby. Take it week by week, bunny. And there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody, every YouTuber wants to do the whole, um, you know, hot button item. Ooh, the Pokemons is out, and we gotta, we gotta come up with all the, we gotta know everything there is to know about Pokemons right before the game comes out. And you know, maybe some of the bigger uh, YouTube channels, like I know Loxton and Noggin, um, as well as Austin John plays and. Probably Verlicify gets like a free, um, they definitely get like Nintendo to be like, hey man, why don't you, why don't you check out our, our product and make YouTube videos about it? Cause you're, you know, you're what makes us relevant in America, I, I suppose, you know, and, and I, it gets to a point where like YouTube just becomes kind of a big advertisement firm and I want to bring back the old, this is going to sound a bit narcissistic, but I part of me wants to be, to bring back that old bit of YouTube that I missed out on, because I started my YouTube channel in like 2016 into 2017, thinking, oh yeah, you know, this is going to be great, you know, I, I get to make money with ads, and no, you have to like, you have to get like a thousand subscribers first, and you know, 4,000 listening hours in order to start uh, collecting, you know, AdSense stuff. And I kind of am just at a point where, like, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm kind of doing the same thing uh, that other YouTubers are doing. So, you know, defaulting on 8-bit uh, covers of things. Because I, I actually thoroughly enjoy listening to them. Uh, listening, I, I listened to them, like, a couple years prior, just at my own leisure, um, just cause it's, it's fun, well anyways, um, you know, I'm a weirdo in that sense where I don't really need like a full-blown, well, uh, arranged piece of music, I just like the source material and liking the basic, uh, song that's written behind it, you know, without having to rely on so much, so many plugins and instruments and orchestrations. Although I do orchestrations, 
Um, I have done orchestrations. Um, I want to get better at it as much as I can. Um, yeah, I got to digress from that. Um, you know, let me know. Let me know how I can improve the channel a little bit. Maybe I can do more of these talkie videos. I know I've talked about it before. I kind of want to do like an even balance of uh, talking about uh, Pokemons, maybe while petting my bunny. I was supposed to have a friend come over and do a podcast together. You know, maybe upload that, see how well it does in reference to Sword and Shield. And like, I might wait on playing Sword and Shield just to, because I haven't like I haven't really gotten past the fourth gym yet and it's only it's what has it been like almost a week and a half two weeks it's gonna be two weeks since it came out oh wait it might have just been a week wow i'm actually pretty far in this well anyways i want to take my time playing it because i want to record the podcast and just have somebody who's already gone through everything in the game and just uh uh just be like, oh yeah, this Pokemon has an evolution. You don't know what it is yet. And I'm like, yo. It's a good friend of mine in, a, uh, in a, one, of, one of the local marching bands that I play for. Uh, I play tuba for both of them. It's really fun. Um, maybe I could do something. I could try to rig up something where I have a GoPro on my tuba or something. That would be fun. Um, but... Uh, you know, going back to Sword and Shield, I still haven't evolved my score bunny to the final stage, and I've been, I just boxed it for a while, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this away, I'm gonna put this bun in a box, bunnies do love boxes, I mean, you could see, you could tell by, you could tell by this right here, that, that bunnies love boxes, okay, here you go, here's a snack, it's high in protein too, it's a Lara bar, protein protein pack here you go buns there you go that's uh it's a nice hat it's a nice hat well anyways um yeah i i think it it's going to evolve into the one pokemon that i made an original uh you know, like, ooh, score bunny potentially leaked video that, like, every small YouTube YouTube channels that are trying to, like, get viral are doing. They have the same strategy. I'm, I'm not claiming any, you know, that, it, you know, I'm a basic bitch, basically, for, like, thinking of the same thing that all the other YouTubers, uh, smaller PokeTuber channels. It's because that's all YouTube is now. It, it makes it, it's so streamlined that we have to go for the hot button item. All of us have to go for the hot button item if you want to be even relevant. Getting 500, like they have a new policy where you have to have 500 video views in order to be seen in the search result. Most of my videos don't have 500 views. I will tell you that much. It's like why, you know, it's like, I'm a smaller channel. I wanna. Oh, I finally fell off. I. <laughs> I just, you know, I kind of want to or work with organic views and know that, you know, it's it's fair, honest, and balanced way of of getting recognized. And you know, maybe maybe I'm doing something that is common and not you know, too outside of the box, maybe I'll evolve to that point, like Pokemon, I'll evolve to that point of, uh, thinking a bit outside of the, outside of the bun on that deal, and, uh, outside of the bun, look at her, she's so fat, she's thick, mm. <laughs> uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, different videos, you know, I'll probably evolve away from 8-bit and move on to something else, maybe less covers. I never liked covers, you know, me, right? You know, posting like over 700 videos of covers. I don't like covers because I just think it takes the creativity out of things. It makes it too formulaic. But when you're in a platform 
that went from, you know, before, pre being bought out by a large, let's say, you know, I don't want to mention, you know, the name of the company, but you know, the company that owns this platform, um, cause I don't want to be shadow banned and lose everything. God damn, that would suck. Um, you know, it, it, it becomes more of like a, a business and just a platform, not just for creatives, but a platform for what's going to uh, just be the hot button tabloidy, you know, cover, of the, you know, like cover of a magazine looking like, oh, 18 ways to lose weight in like four simple steps. And that's kind of what YouTube is. It's just like a just puts the easy formulaic button on on something that was originally designed for artists and at, like I, I feel like I'm at this limbo stage of like where do I go now do I go back to real life and make friends in real life and have to rely on you know you now this, this the same shitty people that like I met in real life I don't think so. You know, I don't think I anybody's ever going to go back to that point. We're stuck in the internet, you know, collaborating with with uh, fellow artists on there. So maybe it's good for like, maybe it's just a glorified business card that you could just uh, um, YouTube is that YouTube being the glorified business card where you can I, I don't know just tell people, hey, this is. This is cool. This is what I'm doing. Here you go. And then making a career out of it is a completely other, is a whole other choice, you know? Because I'm trying to, like, get into the video game composing and film composing portion of things. I got one guy I'm working with now, uh, you know, the game Astrologia that I mentioned earlier. And then I got um, this other guy that I know that uh, wants to do more film projects, and that's pretty cool, so I think I'll be doing that more, focusing on, on that a bit more, you know, trying to, trying to stay with the whole YouTube thing, but uh, until, you know, I get something out of YouTube, I don't know if I, I'll be able to stay for, for ever, you know, posting daily videos, I might do monthly, I might do weekly, you know, it, re it really depends on my schedule, but things are definitely uh, getting busier. And trying to play Pokemon in 16 hours, Sword and Shield in 16 hours, all that hard work. That's I feel like that's why that's why I take my time with playing video games because it's all that hard work, years and years of programming, concept designing, 3D imaging, game testing. You know, engine creation, because that's like the engine creation software, uh, um, you know, and like the physics in Breath of the Wild, for example, took years. You know, and it got, luckily it was on the cusp between uh, Wii U and the Nintendo Switch, kind of like Twilight Princess was for the GameCube and Nintendo Wii. I have the Wii version, and... You know, if you if you think in that parallel term, in that form of parallelism, you know, then I own a Switch, and I own the Switch version of Breath of the Wild, because the newer version of, uh, um, of Zelda games, you know, on the newer console is going to yield you, um, I don't know, maybe better technological capabilities. You could do it on both, but... You know, I prefer the newer, I prefer the newer way of playing. Yeah, that's that's a that's a whole Zelda thing. I'm a huge fan of that too. I have yet to play Link's Awakening. I still haven't beaten Breath of the Wild. Like, you know, figure you know it takes them four years to develop a a new title. It's like we got time, kids. We don't have to like, we don't have to get into all this, you know stuff within the day i suppose in a competitive market though about information and like oh zelda you know like all the lores and 
lore and theories behind them. Yeah, maybe I could understand playing that. You know, I know Nintendo Black Crisis made a post about Sword and Shield and how he beat it in 16 hours. What I was referring to earlier in the video, this video, I mean. And it's just, like, I could never, I could never do that to myself. Like, I gotta take things slow, man. Gotta take things slow, slow. I, my teeth always whistle when I... <laughs> Enunciate my S's. And you gotta take things slow, man, right, Buns? She takes things slow. Look at her. Actually, she hops around like crazy like an animal. You're an animal, Buns. But I love you. Um. Like, I don't want to be spoiled. Like, I don't understand the... the is, it, is it a Zoomer thing? Or is it just, like, people that... Or even millennials that just, like, don't care about spoilers. When did it become socially acceptable to be okay with spoilers within, uh, you know, within a week? Within a week, man, of the release of the game? Are you kidding me? You gotta have... It's gotta be a full-time job at that point if you're a gamer. You know, if you're playing... You know, Pokemon, Zelda, you know, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. If you play a bunch of the um, Sony titles or Microsoft, you know, Xbox titles, I just, that's a full-time job. I, I got shit to do. I got tubas to practice. I got, I got to, you know, I, I got to play the guitar more. I, I guess it's, it's one of those things where if you don't have things to work on, which most people do you know then it's not realistic to ex expect somebody to, to beat a game within within 16 hours i understand you're a veteran pokemon player same old same old you know you, you want to get through it and because it's a nice story it's a nice uh, uh pacing you know you you just eat that eat that up like it's nothing I get that. I get. I understand. You wanna. You wanna like. Yeah, I've I've been playing Pokemon for years. Let's see what this flavor tastes like. And then you play through it, and it feels like, well, where's the rest of it? I just beat this in like a couple days, and that's it. I waited this long. All this hype, all this analysis, all these these theories. Uh, you know, talking about leaks and designs and just for 16 hours of gameplay. And, and I don't want to, like... Like, I, I've i only been recently uh, looking into the the YouTuber Nintendo Black Crisis. And this isn't a knock on him. I think, he, I think what he does is great. It, it's just, though... Like, and I understand you got to beat it in 16 hours if you want content that's you know at, at as soon as like the thing is popular or as close to the release date but like man i could not i like i'd have to tell nintendo like listen could you give me the game like a month in advance or like a couple months in advance because i just want to take my time i just want to bask in its excellency and enjoy myself a little bit man it's a open world rpg game now it's an open world. It's an open world game. I can't believe they did that. You know, people are gonna, like, bitch about the, uh, Ocarina of Time style trees, but you know what? I don't care. You know what? I, I didn't even care that they did 2.5D animation for Black and White and Black and White 2. You know, it was even cool that they started implementing that as early as P Pokemon Platinum when you're in the distortion world. That, when that came out, that, like, I remember Pokemon Diamond coming out, and it's just like, wow, this is so much better than, uh, you know, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, you know? Right, Buns? You were never, I don't think you were born yet, you're just a baby bun. Actually, no, that, I don't even think your grandfather was born yet. You're a young bun, you know that? You know that, Bam? You're so cute. But, like... Does anybody really care about the graphics of a 
Pokemon game. Like, I, I feel like, you know, the, the part of me wants to believe that, you know, Sony Xbox veterans of, of Sony and Xbox games, you know, and I don't want to generalize, you know, like, but like, yeah, sure, the Nintendo Switch is amazing, and it has all this technological capabilities that, that can incorporate, you know, games like Skyrim, hyper-realistic types of games, you know, and high-def detail stuff, but like, why is that important, you know, and this is why Nintendo's winning, it's, it's because they go for gameplay, they don't just go for, ooh, how does it look, that's why Nintendo ended up becoming such a great, uh, became a game company because they were a, a, I believe a, a toy manufacturing company I'm not sure about manufacturing but maybe quality assurance uh, company so I can understand that you know like their segue into gaming from that but like they haven't lost that that need to have something that's a high quality fun to play anybody can jump in type of game you do that with a hyper-realistic shooter, and it's like there's a barrier of entry. You got to be a grown-up in order in order to uh, get in, or or have a cool mom, have a cool dad, you know, that'll get you the rated M game. Even then, it's just like, do you really want to show that to a six-year-old? You know, like all this hyper-realistic blood and violence that could potentially desensitize them, and you get them on, you know type of mind-altering drugs that'll make them do better in school you know they you you might you might just condition uh, a, a generation of sociopaths i can understand that you know and, and probably there are a bunch of there's a lot of other people that um you know, obviously there's there's not a lot of people that fall through the cracks like that um but you know it is it is a concern why not just have mild fantasy violence you know like cute animals that just like throw you know stupid physics looking you know like like if you ever watch the anime like the physics and and pokemon are so stupid but it but i love it i love it it's just like this doesn't make sense like if you were to put this into real life but that's the beauty of it it's fantasy it's a video game. You immerse yourself in a world that doesn't exist. It's something that's beyond. It's just there. You know, I, I kind of, it's hard to, it's hard to articulate what I'm trying to get at, but that, that's always been a, ch a challenge in my life. But, um, it's just, you know, do you want, like, even like, uh, um, racing games, like with, um, what is it? Um, Crazy Taxi for the uh, it was an arcade game. Then it's for the N64, and it was just like you bump into or like old older GTA, like you bump into a a building and it's like you don't have to, like it, it was just nothing. It was just a block that mashed into another block technologically. There weren't all these physics uh, um, involved, you know, like real life people you know, getting hurt and all that stuff. But then, like, as games evolved, you know, racing games... I remember a good friend of mine for, like, the Xbox... Uh, when, when Xbox 360 was still thriving and popular, he was just, like... He was playing this racing game where, like, at the end of each game, he won a certain amount of money, but then he had to pay money to repair his car. And I'm thinking to myself... And I think I said this out loud. I didn't even just think this to myself i'm like why would you play a video game that's so close to real life that like you got bills to pay in your for your imaginary car it's like, like you got bills to pay anyways you know why do you, why do you have to fantasize about something that you could have in this reality and don't get me wrong like mild fantasy violence and that whole thing with like you know dog fighting or fighting with like you know roosters or dogs fighting 
That's kind of messed up in, in this reality. But when it's cute cartoon animals that all they get is just a little wrinkly bruise thing, and then they, they eat a berry, and then they're like, oh, I guess I don't, I'm not going to die. I kind of like that world. I want. I would want to be uh, a bit more a part of that world, I, or at least immerse myself in, in, in the fantasy of something like that. I suppose it's a preference, you know, maybe more people are grounded in that sense where, um, you know, uh, playing something that's hyper-realistic is seen as, like, uh, more grounded, you know, in that sense, like I said earlier. Um, but, like, why? You know, like, if, if you're going to immerse yourself in, in this type of escapist uh, setting, like a video game, why go for... I don't know, something just too real, like, that it could be real, like, kind of like historical fiction, it's just like, why not just, like, have Abraham Lincoln chop up zombies or vampires, I think they made a movie about that, they made a book about it, and then they made a movie about it, um, and that's cool, that's, that's a little something new. I guess it's also a cultural thing where, like, uh, Americans like dark and creepy and grotesque. Because that's just how our people are. We're dark, creepy, and grotesque. <laughs> you know, it would be nice to, to strive for something cuter and, and having more of an innocent uh, approach on life. I mean, that, that might have been America in the 80s. Or earlier, or in the 70s, where um, cuteness and um, things of that nature uh, were more um, on the forefront. Now it's just weird sci-fi, dark, alien, cold colors only. No amber lighting whatsoever. Interestingly enough, my cabinet is like an amber color, and the behind me is like a amber colors, you know, got my blue light filter on too, that makes it even more of like a, <laughs> of like a, um, Bambi colored, like her, like this bun right here, she's wholesome, she's a wholesome bun, I don't even know if I got her right, yeah I did, okay, you're a wholesome bun, I know, I know you're cleaning your buns, but like, you're so cute, they could have, I want to say that she, she, like, uh, Score Bunny evolves into this beaut of a bun, but it's like, nobody can, nobody can copy this perfection of a bun. Look at her. Look. It's so beautiful. Um, it's gonna be a bipedal rabbit. Hands down. Still haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. Um, but I have a feeling it's like it's gonna be like the one that I did the initial video on about. Ooh, this could be a leak. Ooh, ooh, and then have people say, "Oh, that's not a leak. That's that's just that's fake." It's like, okay, shoot me for coming up with theories. I mean, you know, could you blame somebody that that? I guess this goes into a whole philosophy about like, you know. When it comes to pseudoscience itself, it's like, you know, a, as a practice, um, I gotta plug it, plug this in. Pseudoscience itself is like a practice. It's, uh, I remember somebody telling me, oh, oh, that's fake. It's not real. Well, are any, is a hypothesis fake? I get, I suppose it wouldn't be, or is speculation fake? Or is, when you hypothesize something even, um, is that considered fake? I mean, I understand, you know, you come to a conclusion and you say, oh, this is the finite result of, of this, that, and the other thing. But, like, why, why gang up on somebody that's just simply speculating? Or, or um, thinking of something as a possibility, even if it might not be true. I'm open to the idea that score bunny could look like this in its final evolution because you know you know this that and the other thing 
and it, it's fun to 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 look at the unknown many people fear the unknown why do they fear the unknown and and is is uh the person that talked to me about saying oh that's fake are they afraid of the unknown uh or to step outside of what they've been conditioned to believe in these are some these are some philosophical points that i never that you know That'll easily be dismissed by somebody that thinks they know everything uh, because somebody gave them, you know, a level of validation or stroke their ego um, to, to have them think that way. But honestly, me personally, nobody did that for me, so I had to keep questioning more. And then you get down, get down the rabbit hole, as they say, um, and, and try to make sense of it yourself see the the rabbit hole look at her look at her you're so cute just like oh you're saying hello see she was doing that to me and i was thinking like what do you want punk because she i always stand over here and she's like looking at me and, and she's just like "Ooh, do i get a treat do I get something? She's not coming up. She doesn't smell banana on me, so I'm worthless to her. That's how bunnies are. They're, they're kind of like cats in a way, but I kind of like bunnies better, personally. Personally. I don't want to have a turf war about this. I think, I just think that bunnies are the best. They're just simply the best. They don't cause as much property damage. Um... You can pet them without fear of them swatting your face. Like, ow, I just wanted to pet you. I wanted to show you some love and affection, you know. I want to be loved here. I don't, I don't want a roommate that's just kind of like wants me for my for my cuddles whenever they want me. I, I would feel insecure. I'd feel like a whore. You know, they <laughs> cats basically make me feel like a whore, a whore, a horror. Um, the horror. That that's stupid. What? Um. Are there any new cat Pokemon? I guess Meowth. You know, Galarian Meowth, looking like uh. Um. I mean, that's what I. You know, getting back to Pokemon though, Galarian Meowth, looking like. A, uh, what is it? Like, where the wild things are, kind of, when, when you think about it. Like, it's got that gruff looking, it kind of looks like me. <laughs> let's, let's be real here. It's got that, it's got that scruffy beard that's just un, underkept. Like, for some reason it grows more on this side. I gotta shape this up. Um, but, but yeah, it looks like a, a where the wild things are. I don't know what Persian looks like. I don't care to know until I evolve my Galarian Meowth. Um, Hatena. I don't know what Hatena's evolution looks like. I'm a couple levels shy of evolving Hatena. And I, I was told it has three lines, but I don't know what they are. Um, I was told that um, Thwacky, you know, Grookey's final... The, the second stage into final stage, that evolution, um, I knew it was going to be something, um, you know, Loxton got it right with the whole rock band type of thing, and I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, I should warn of spoilers on this video, because, like, I don't want to give too much away. Like, Qfin, I had no idea, like, that would be a Pokemon in the game, like, in, uh, in Galar, I kind of get it, it's got that, like, elephant, elephants are kind of, like, symbolic of, like, the in Indian imperialization that the Brits did, so I, I kind of understand that, and its evolution is so cool, that's on my team, Qfin's ele uh, evolution is on my team, because it just, it's great, I love the coloration, the design. It's just it's just a beautiful Pokemon. Like this beautiful bun. It it's thick too and kind of orange. 
because it's got orange in the in the design. I won't I won't give too much away on that. But, but like, there's just so much I want to talk about, and that and there's so much that I don't know yet. There's so much I want to know, but like, am I gonna let some schleppy YouTuber ruin it with a thumbnail? No. I refuse to do that, my friends, my friends on the internet, and I hope you do too. And I don't mean to say this as a way to uh, to mess up with the formula that YouTubers have to, you know, abide to. But there's gonna there's gonna be a moment in time where we have to, where YouTube will become either a shell of its former self which which it already kind of is big advertisement firm or it'll be or people will move on and they'll move on to a better platform that hasn't taken corporate control and then it could be about the creators it could be because like i mean i remember back in the day looking at forums and it's just like there was always a warning on spoilers and not only with storyline, with, like, images. It's like, spoiler alert, you know. And, I don't know, maybe I'm too strict on myself uh, when it comes to kind of, uh, I don't know, leaving myself less exposed to the Pokemon. I don't want to ruin the surprise. You know, it's like, the next generation isn't going to be coming out for a couple of years. Right, Bam? And this is the one generation that there's a bunny as a starter. So I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with that. I do not wanna mess with that. I sometimes wonder if like they if they uh go into a, a boardroom and they, they talk about like what's the most popular animal? Okay. There's a cat. People like cats will make litten. Then there's a bun. People like big buns, and they can't cannot lie. You bro other brothers can deny, and they never do. Cause cause she's just look at her. Everybody everybody likes buns now for some reason. It's it's the year of the bun. I think that was wasn't that this year, Chinese uh, um, zodiac year. Maybe there is something to this whole Chinese zodiac thing. Maybe there is. I don't care as much about that specific part of the lore. I gotta plug this in again because I'm running out of battery. Um, but but you know, I I, I guess I'll, I'll leave it at this. If you haven't played the game yet, and uh, you know you're thinking about choosing the bunny. Do not um, watch YouTube at all. Do not go on social media. Completely isolate yourself from society. And just enjoy as much as you can. Maybe that's why people get it done in like three days. You know, the, the playthrough. Because they, they want to see it for themselves. But like, but you know, if you want to, the surprise of um, the Pokemons. You know, what everything becomes and what's out there and kind of discover for yourself like you're a kid again um i highly recommend it i started doing that with gen 6 and i never looked back i didn't know what del fox was going to look like i didn't know what incineroar was going to look like and incineroar kind of grew on me after a while but you know del fox uh kind of i love del fox I, I thought that was a cool thing you know, breaks in kind of maybe was like a, a teaser for Del Fox. You know, it's like, okay, now it's going to be a, it has to be a bipedal fox, you know. Maybe it'll mega evolve into like a quadpedal foxy thing, fox thingy. But I don't care. Anything will do. It's Pokemon. You're going to play it. I keep saying that. You're going to play it. It's a good game. Uh, just... 
you know, be patient, folks. Be patient. Don't look into that much of the news. And I'm not, I don't, I don't want to like start a trend that's just like, oh yeah, boycott uh, PokeTuber uh, channels because they're just like, they keep spoiling everything. God damn, they keep spoiling everything. Just know that they have to because that's how YouTube is now. And maybe maybe boycott them anyways. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really getting to a good point. Uh, like I'm I'm not having a solid point developed in this video. But it I hope I was entertaining enough to have you guys watch as I pet my bun bun, and uh, you know that's the best I could do. That'll do. That'll do. All right, well, if you could span it out for a couple more weeks of the Pokemons, do it. If you could get away with it, not talk to anybody for a couple weeks, do it. If you could do it for a couple months, that'd be even better. But chances are, somebody's going to spoil it to you. And you just have to find a good middle ground. The only reason it's a 16-hour game is because it's... Uh, because, you know, it's like, well, why put in so much effort if you're going to beat it in, like, two days anyways? We're going to make it two days long. That being said, and I feel like the Pokemon Company could listen to Zelda uh, and take notes, you know, and just say, you know, why not just make a game that's going to be going to last us four years as opposed to something that will only be good for a year i love the replayability of zelda and and just you know the end game content and pokemon has been lacking in that sense but that could be another video i've gone on for too long it's already already 42 minutes in um but yeah um i'll i'll say goodbye and i'll have bunny would you like to do you have any final words buns you just lay in there. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. You're not a shy bun. You're just very quiet. Except at 2 in the morning. She's very loud. Or even at 9 o'clock in the morning where she's like scratching and scratching the floor trying to trying to dig. Even though it's uh, hardwood flooring. I'm sorry buns. This is uh, good hardwood flooring here. And uh, that will do. You enjoy your box. And I will see you all next time. And the next Sunday. Bun day. Pet pet. The buns. I think next week we'll do Kalu. And that'll be that. Or, or even the podcast. Podcast next. I'm going to bring my friend Emrick in. Him and I are going to speculate. We're going to nerd out. If you guys like the idea of that, like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, you know, we could maybe get a weekly podcast just about the love of Pokemon. And that'll be cool. That, that would be an interesting turn of events, we'll say. So you all take care. And happy Pokemoning. Happy gaming. And just live your life, man. You got stuff to do? Do it. You know? You don't want to be spoiled? Isolate yourself from society. The society will wait. Friends can wait. If you want to enjoy something like Pokemon with virgin eyes like me, <laughs> isolate yourself from the rest of society. What's the matter with you? All right. Um, I'm going to stop beating a dead... Rapidash, Galarian Rapidash, that I will not give away the typing because that would be spoiling the game. Um, but yeah, take care. I love you. Bye bye. Take care now. Live your life, okay? Okay? Recycle too. <laughs>